Hi friends, this is Amy Powell, Executive Director here at ArtReach, and uh, we decided that as a way to give you, your families, your friends, an opportunity to do something creative while you are at home, once a day during the workday, Monday through Friday, we're going to come to you with a quick craft from ArtReach. So uh, the idea is that we'll be coming up with crafts that you can do from home, um, hopefully with materials that you have sitting around the house. So today we're going to be creating a uh, window mosaic and uh, it's all with materials that I had at home. I didn't have to purchase anything special. And then uh, when you're done, you can put it on your window and have some colorful art for your window. So here's my finished product. So what I have is a piece of household wax paper. I tore it off and then I folded it in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a shape and I'm going to keep it folded so that way when I fold it back over, the shape um, lines up easier. So you'll see on the bottom of mine, here's the fold right here. And so I did um, a flower, my version of a tulip. So, um, so what I did was I left the fold, I took just regular household scissor scissors and I cut out the shape of a flower. So I cut up like this, I made a point there, I cut in, I made the other points, and then I cut around the side, like so. So you're kind of creating your own indoor flower garden. Let's set my scraps aside. Now, these are just regular household crayons that we had sitting around. You can use a cheese grater uh, or a vegetable peeler. Uh, what I found easiest is to use a small paring knife. And this is something that um, adults you may want to do for your kids. If they're a little older, then they could do it themselves. But you hold the crayon in your hand and you kind of pull the knife towards you like you are peeling the crayon. And you see that little squiggly start to come up and I'm doing it into a bowl here. Uh, you can use as many colors as you'd like. You could use as many shapes as you'd like. If you wanted to create your own indoor uh, flower garden on your windows, this would be a really cool, colorful way to welcome in spring. Uh, we've been out taking some walks lately, and I've seen a few crocuses popping up through um, folks' lawns. So you see I'm just kind of peeling that crayon into my bowl getting lots of crayon colors. I had some orange in here previously, but I had used up my orange crayon, so I got pink. So this color is gonna be a little bit of pink and orange. And you'll see that I laid down uh, here as my work surface, just an old kitchen towel. If you don't have an old kitchen towel that you are you know, willing to kind of part ways with, you could use newspaper as well as your work surface. The crayons do get a little bit um, messy, they're kind of staticky, so if you can try and contain it all to your workspace, that'll make it a little easier for you. But I'm just, um, now I'm doing the red, so you see I'm just kind of peeling the crayon, pulling the knife towards me, and spinning the crayon as I am uh, peeling it, so that way I'm not getting it too thin on any one spot. And like I said, you can do this with any color crayon that you'd like. If you wanted to make a pattern you could do a pattern on my flower that I made I just kind of combined red and yellow kind of a yellowish greenish uh, and orange together um, the shredded crayon has a tendency to want to kind of stick to you because of that static um, what I usually do is just try and pick up the little pieces that have bounced out and put them back in their bowl and here's the uh, kind of yellowish greenish so we'll do some of this real quick Meanwhile, I've plugged in my iron and I've set it to a medium temp. It doesn't need to be real hot. Make sure that if your iron has a, um, a dry setting, that you flip it to the dry setting. My iron doesn't have any water in it right now, so, um, so that's not a big deal. But if you use your iron and you've got water in it, make sure that you set it to a dry setting so that way you're not um, putting the steam into it too. Uh, so I'm just kind of shredding this. My iron is heated up, I can smell it. And I'm just about done with the green here. 
Alrighty, I think that's probably good. <laughs> if you don't have any newspaper around, uh, you could also use some office paper. Just be careful with the office paper that you don't um, do it, hold the iron too long in one spot because it will, um, it'll start to burn through. So now I've got my, my cutout wax paper and see, remember that it's folded. And that's what it's kind of going to be the anchor. So I'm just going to take my colors here and I'm just going to dump them onto my petal, kind of open the petal or open the flower up. And so you're kind of using the, the flat side as um, the side where you are going to put all the crayons. And the reason why I use an old kitchen towel, as you see from um, my sample that I did, the wax comes out, kind of makes a mess. So don't um, use anything that you are going to want to use again. If you don't have an old kitchen towel or newspaper around and you do want to use something fabric, um, a bath towel would work, an old bath towel, or an old t-shirt uh, would work really well too. You don't want something that's really thick uh, because then it's gonna take a long time for the heat to work its way through um, through the fabric. So that's why you know kitchen towels are nice because they're kind of thin. Um, t-shirts are good because they're thin. All right, so what I'm now doing is I'm kind of just trying to work the colors up to the tips of the petals. Get one of those bowls out of the way for you. Um, and if you find, after you've melted it, that there's um, not enough color in the tips, you can very carefully pull the tips apart, add more colored crayon, and uh, iron it again. So I'm just kind of dumping all this in. It's going to make a, a fun, colorful collage. And then, uh, and then we'll see how it all turns out. So I'm just kind of pushing the little crayon shreds. I'm going to pick up a few of these and put them back on, pushing them up towards the, the tips of the flowers to make sure that all the parts of the flower have some colors. Now what I'm going to do, oh, there's a big chunk right there. We'll put you right there, sir. I'm going to fold over the top of my flower trying not to squeeze out any of the crayons that are there. Then I'm going to carefully, I'm gonna pull this back a little bit so I have enough fabric. So I'm going to uh, carefully take this side of my fabric and I'm going to place it gently on top of my wax paper so as to not disrupt the shredded crayon that I put on there. Okay, I'm gonna brush off some of this crayon now, like I said, I've got my iron heated up to about medium. I've got it on the dry setting. And I'm just gonna put it on top of my towel here, my kitchen towel. I do have some paper underneath, so that way if it bleeds through on the bottom, it's not gonna ruin my uh, table or my tablecloth underneath. So you just kinda go back and forth, back and forth. You'll see how uh, <clears throat> some of the crayon is starting to melt out around the edges. That means we're Color. We're getting the crayon all the way to the edges of it. So you're just going to go back and forth a few times. Um, put your iron down. Then I'm going to carefully pull this back. I'm going to look and see how does it look. It's going to be hot, so just be careful. You could also use your knife to kind of help peel it up. And uh, see what we've got here. Oh, I think that looks wonderful. You can see the yellow and the red and the orange. And there's uh, my finished product. I can tape it to my window. If I want, I could uh, color on the window with some dry erase markers or some window paint, and I could make a little flower garden in my window. So there's a craft for you. We'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock.